Good morning, everyone. I'm Padman from Sri Lanka. I've been a Google Summer of Code uh, student for Mosesia for two years. And this year, I'm mentoring during the PSI project. So I will uh, quickly brief you through our project. Uh, this project was a kind of a startup. It started about uh, five years ago. It was simply developing, and now at a very stable stage. Uh, I'll go from this one. Uh, earlier we had uh, this stable version, and currently we are developing a new version. Uh, earlier we had uh, <coughs> for the new version we are including an SD card and in improved our UART bridge. And let, let me tell you briefly what the BS Lab does. Okay, then uh, we can talk more about at the stall. Uh, this one, it seems like an Arduino, but it does very much more than an Arduino. It has a four-channel oscilloscope. Uh, you can measure four different waveforms at the same time. Then it has a voltmeter as a part of a multimeter. And it can provide voltages or powers for your circuits with a resolution of uh, 10 millivolts. And it has a programmable current source. And for digital circuit analysis, it has a four-channel logic analyzer. And for analog electronics, it can generate sine wave, uh, square waves, and triangle waveform. It can generate a PW waveform at a rate of 8 megahertz. Uh, and the workshops, we Marco was doing a robot term controlling that one using PW waveform generated using PS lab. And can also measure capacitor. Usually, uh, cheap multimeters doesn't have this uh, capacitor measurement, but PS Lab does it. And it can measure resistance up to mega ohms. And uh, as in an Arduino, we can connect different sensors. But the thing about uh, what comparing Arduino with this one, with an Arduino, you need to know programming, uh, know how to upload the code and debug it. But with this PS Lab device, we have two applications, one desktop and an Android app. So with that one, you can simply connect the sensor, the whatever the sensor you want, uh, supporting this protocol, I2C, SPI, UART. Then simply uh, click on a, click on an icon, you can get the readings, like coded or a bit cluttered. Uh, these are some of sensors you can connect. Maybe GPS, I2C, parameters, anything. And it also can act as a frequency counter. And uh, this is our software set. We have literally a lot of applications like Python, Python stacks, uh, web, firmware, hardware. And apart from uh, and apart from that, uh, we are currently working on a new project called Neurolab. It's for the brain wave analyzing. It will uh, the hardware is prototype, it will look like this. And it will, uh, uh, this is how the proposed architecture, it will uh, feed data from EEGs, and then it will <coughs> amplify those weak signals, and once it amplified, it will filter, and then the analog signals will be converted to digital signals, and then transmitted back to, let's say, an audio, anything you want. So that's about a brief introduction. Uh, we can talk more about at our stall at the exhibition hall. Thank you very much.